Hi, is your current internet service provider treating you well? I mean, giving you value for money? Well, I have had a terrible experience with different service providers over the years, which has led me to purchasing of different internet devices. So I have this from one service provider, this from a different one, as well as this from a different service provider. And I sometimes even end up using my phone to serve as hotspot to be able to browse on my PC. Why should it be so? So you have some of the service providers giving you good amount of data at an affordable rate, yet you're not even able to enjoy the data because you're going to experience interruptible internet services. And then you have other internet service providers giving you great services, good speed, and so on, but you can't afford it because it gets so much expensive. The point is, because of the nature of my work, I always have to be on the internet assisting clients, performing remote connections, and so on. This month alone, I've had to spend so much money on data to be able to work, which sometimes do get me frustrated. Data which is supposed to last for a month ends up taking about just two weeks and then gets exhausted. And it's not like I'm performing some high-end downloads or the rest. I'm just a lightweight user even though I'm always on the internet. I'm most of the time browsing and, and the rest. So I needed to actually find a quick fix to this particular issue. Lo and behold, I got a solution to it, which is the MTN TurboNet. So before I continue, I want you to know that this video isn't sponsored by MTN, but I think it's worth it sharing with you. Before getting this device, I had to consult a couple of friends. I needed to find out how I was using the TurboNet, and so far I had a positive response. So before continuing, let's take a look at the TurboNet details on the MTN website. So. I'm currently on the MTN website and it says the TurboNet is a plug and play super high speed 4G internet router. It comes with a high powered external antenna, so that's in the box. You'll be taking a look at that. And then the data sim that enables it to deliver the fast, um, deliver fast internet in MTN 4G locations. Well, that's cool. And when we come to the bottom here, we have it says three steps, easy steps to get started. One is simply buy the TurboNet router. So, what we have in here. That's going for 300 CDs and I have um, registered a SIM card and pay for your preferred data bundle. So under normal circumstances or by default, it doesn't come with any data package. You have to purchase a data package as part of the device. And then after doing so, you get some bonuses. So these are the procedures to go about it. You have star 5057 as well as um, that star 170, which is MTN mobile money. Before continuing, there's a tip I have for you at the end of this video, which is going to help you in case you are looking at using the TurboNet um, internet services. And then finally, we have enjoy faster, unbelievable internet speed. Well, I'm here to try to see if it's actually going to you know prove its point in there. And when you come to the very bottom, we have the data packages. So this is what actually got me to switch or sign up for the TurboNet device. So you have 20 GB for 75 CDs. You have 45 GB for 120 CDs. And then 90 GB for 175, 225, 240, 550 395. On my current internet package with a different service provider, I am on the 130 package, which gives me 40 GB, and that lasts for just two um, two weeks. And then this one, when I purchase, let's say I purchase um, the 45 GB, I'm going to get bonuses as part of it, and I'm told that the bonuses is going to be around for a period of time. And just like I was saying, I have a tip for you. So that tip, if you are able to implement that, you are going to get good amount of data as well as get data um, um, credit for your SIM to be able to use. So without talking further, let's just dive into the box and see what's being contained in it. So once you open it up, you see two boxes. You have um, the yellow box as well as the white box. So I'm sure the yellow box is going to contain the device itself. Let me just try to get this out. Okay, so this is the antenna. Looks like the SIM got stuck to this. Okay, so we have the SIM in there. We have the antenna as well as we have the, the device itself. So that's the TableNet device. And uh, let me just go ahead and then open it up. So in the box, you have the manual as well as the receipt, which I'll be taking a look at later. And then you have the device itself. So this is the device. Uh, let me just keep it here. And then you have the adapter 
as well as you have some cables in here so that's okay that is fine let me just take the adapter out and then keep this aside now my first impression about this device is its bulkiness it's too huge you can actually carry this along and it's actually plug and play device so you always need adapter to be able to power it power it up aside that i think it's fine so that's that's the device in there beneath uh, behind it you have the power section you have some I think some four network ports and then you have a telephone port in here so if you want to attach a telephone to um, the device you can go ahead to do that now let's take a look at the white box so in the white box um, you have the antenna in here so you are likely to use the antenna if you are not getting good services where you are so you attach it to the device and then you are good to go so let me just get started with this i'm going to go ahead to take the same from the same card holder and then i'm going to slot it in here so i think that's great this way and uh okay so we are good to go so i'm going to go ahead to perform a speed test on this particular device to see how fast it is i'm sure maybe based on the location i am i'm going to get something different as compared to a different location but i'm still going to go ahead to try it and see so let me just get it all powered up so here we go and then i think yeah it's powered up now so let me just wait for some few seconds and then initiate a connection to it and see how it's going to be so i think i have a red button here okay okay so it's on now um we have all the bars showing so as you can see it is on let me just try to see if i can assess it from here i think i have to wait for some few seconds to make sure it is broadcasting so okay so here we go we have it broadcasted now let me go to speedtest.net and try out the speed for this particular uh, device and then the internet okay so waiting patiently to see the results okay here we go oh oh wow that's around 12 megabits per second. Okay, it's dropped to 10, 9. <laughs> you better go up. Okay, so so it's roughly around 9. Okay, so 9 megabits per second for the download. That's not bad. And then the upload is around 15, 16 megabits per second. Okay, so yeah. Now the upload is around 40 megabits per second, which is not bad. Now let me try to perform it again. Okay, so I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have something above what I had previously. So this is around 11, 10, is it going to drop? Okay, it falls back to nine, which, which is okay. Okay, and then the upload Okay, so we have around 14, 15 megabits per second. Okay. Yeah, so we have nine megabits per second for the download. We have um, 15.95 megabits per second, which I think it's great because having this um, speed, that's, that's, that's very good. I'm sure I'll try this out again, maybe in the evening, somewhere in the evening to see if it's going to go above that and maybe when i get to get to um, go to a different location i'm going to try it out again to see how that is going to be now to be able to manage this device you can dial star 5057 hash to see the services offered for this particular device you get to purchase data and so on and then you can also use the huawei h link app to also manage the device perform some basic configurations and and the rest so let's take a look at how to go about bundling or purchasing data as well as um, how to go about using the Huawei app to manage this particular device. 
So to manage your account, you dial star 5057 hash, and then you go ahead to hit on send, and then this is going to give you some options in here. So we have buy bundle, renew bundle, check balance, super saver, manage account, and then check fiber availability. So I'm going to go in for option one, which is buy bundle. And then once you hit on send, this is going to give you the packages available. So you go ahead to select any of them. So I'm going to select one for now. And then once you are done, you get to see the options to buy with. So just like I was saying, if you are buying with your mobile airtime and then you purchase the airtime from the mobile money to your phone, you are going to get some bonus and then you get to purchase bundle using the airtime option in here so that you get to enjoy the bonus on your phone. You can also buy from your broadband account as well as you can buy from mobile money wallets directly. So that's those are the options. Now let's take a look at how to use the Huawei um, that's H link to manage this as well. So Huawei. So that's the Huawei high link. And uh, once I'm connected to the device, it's going to give me info about the device. So it shows me the um, data that I, I have used so far, as well as I get to perform a couple of options in here. So I have settings where I get to um, change, I don't know, accounts. Yes, I have accounts. I can log into the device. I can um, perform some network configurations as well as um, the device itself. I can go ahead, set screen and so on. So those are the um, options you get to work with or you get to use when you are using the Huawei High Link app as well to manage the device. So that's how to go about bundling or purchasing data for this particular device or being able to manage it. Now for my final tip. So in case you are on MTN mobile money and you want to be able to purchase data for this particular device. We saw that for the options you have purchasing from mobile money, purchasing from your existing airtime and then the other third option. So what you can do is buy the airtime for your device, your mobile device. So in case you want to purchase 75 CDs, you dial star 170. I think the third option, you purchase 75 CDs for your phone, for your phone number. And then when you are done, you're going to get a lot of bonus because MTN is a net moment. And then when you are done with that, you go to the star 5057 hash and then you go to the purchase data section and then you buy from your airtime. So what's going to happen is that your airtime is going to be debited and it's going to be credited to the device, but you're still going to enjoy the bonuses. And then you're also going to get bonus on the device as well. But if you purchase directly to the device, you're not going to get any bonus for your phone. So that's a very great hack in there. So that's the end of this particular video. Let me know what internet services you are using as well as how affordable it is for you in the comment section below. Before going, don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. My name is Eshma Lamte. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.